Hi there, my name is Kenzie. I'm offering you a restorative yoga practice today, which is a relaxation-based practice that's completely supported. Sometimes we move a little bit between poses, but that's completely optional, as is everything, because I'm only here to make suggestions. I'm coming to you from the Everyday Counts program space, and as you can see, I do have a few props for this practice. So I have two blankets. Um, they could be made of anything. They could be any size or shape, just so um, you can fold them up or you can unfold them as need be. And I've got two thick bed pillows. In fact, I have very thin pillows, so I've stuffed two of them inside of one pillowcase. But these could be couch cushions. They could be yoga bolsters whatever you've got, even bigger blankets just rolled up securely. So if you do need to press pause or grab more props, feel free. You can also see that I'm on a yoga mat, but you could always place a blanket on top of that yoga mat for more support. You could be on a mattress, on a bed, even on a couch, depending on how firm it is and how much space there is on it. So let's begin by making ourselves as comfortable as possible. I'm gonna suggest that you lie down on your back in a reclined position, but it might be some other position that's better for you. I'm going to use one of these folded blankets for my pillow, but you could use the pillow instead. And I'm stacking these two pillows up so that once I'm on my back, I can put my legs over these pillows and that can sometimes um, release the low back if it's feeling tight or even just give give your legs a sort of elevated position which can help if there's swelling or discomfort um, so take your time getting down here and if you need to kind of roll onto your side to begin please feel free and then you can get those legs over those pillows if it's too much pillow you could always remove one my legs are kind of short so my feet are quite elevated over these pillows, but it's okay if the feet touch the mat or if they don't. I guess what you may have already noticed as well is that I'm wearing a sweater and a hat and socks because in this practice, we are going to be very relaxed and we may cool down. So also you could use a blanket over your body anywhere that you need extra warmth or awareness. Yeah, so. Once you're in this position, perhaps closing your eyes, and that sometimes helps you notice if you're comfortable. And if you're not, just continue to make any adjustments, experiment a little bit, notice what you need to be comfortable. Now perhaps beginning to breathe through the nose. And allowing your body to become still, but know that you can move at any time. Your comfort is key to this practice. What else is very helpful in this practice is a relaxation breath pattern. So we could start by simply softening the belly and noticing the gentle rise and fall of the abdomen. And if it helps, you could bring your hands to the belly. And the relaxation breath pattern invites the inhale to be soft and deep. And the exhale to be soft and a little bit slower. And though the inhale is deep, you do not have to fill the entire lungs. You're simply inviting that inhale to almost land on the pelvic floor. You're letting the, the diaphragm at the bottom of the lungs expand downward and outward. And then as you exhale, just sort of though it's a natural release, the weight of the belly, the weight of your hands might encourage that breath out nice and slow. We're not trying to control the breath, but we are allowing that soft, deep in breath. Allowing that soft or slower out breath. And this works. It works on the nervous system 
to gently nudge us towards that rest and digest state of being. But focusing on the breath also is a form of meditation, helping to focus the mind here in the present moment. It gives the mind a job to do, which is to simply allow and observe the breath. A soft, deep in-breath as the abdomen rises. And the softer, slower out breath as the abdomen falls. And the mind simply rides the wave of breath through the present moment. So let's try that for the next few moments. Follow the inhale. Follow the exhale. Ride the wave of breath through the present moment. And if your mind wanders, that's okay. Come back to this wave of breath, rolling in deep, rolling out slow. Abdomen rises. Abdomen falls. So here we are now. If it suits you, perhaps rest a hand to the belly and a hand to the chest. And offer yourself some sweetness here. A kind word, a prayer, an affirmation just for you. slowly releasing those hands. Know that you can stay in any of these positions for as long as you're comfortable. So if you're comfortable right here and you wish to remain, please feel free. If you are ready to move on in the practice, perhaps wiggle your fingers or toes. Oh, maybe there's a yawn. Maybe a slow turn of your head, even a a wiggle through the ankles or the wrists. Maybe even kind of a full body stretch. And another yawn. Ah, yeah. And if you'd like to, you could bend your knees, bringing your feet to those pillows. 
and maybe even hugging those knees towards the belly, maybe a little rock from side to side. So our next pose um, is going to come from lying down, but we are going to set the props up a little differently. So I'm going to use my feet to kind of grab those pillows and bring them where I can reach them. And I'm bringing them in front of me. I know this is hard for you to see me, but bear with me here. My pillows are stacked at my side. And I'm going to roll onto my side, keeping the bottom leg straight. I'm lifting and bending that top leg and resting it on the pillows. Now, I've got one pillow under my head, but once I turn my head to the side, I might find that a second blanket or a second pillow under my head is quite delightful. So I've rolled right onto that bottom shoulder and I've stacked my shoulders. I'm going to tuck these pillow in, pillows in close and kind of decide how high I want my top knee. And I'm reaching that bottom leg long, or maybe there's a little bend to it. This is one variation of this pose, and it's a lovely one. And this is a nice one when you're sleeping as well, sometimes to have your leg supported with a pillow when you're on your side. You do want a slightly deeper pose. And we're still looking for a place before stretch. So this is a pose you can play with as long as you don't feel too much stretch here. Um, is also a variation that puts some pressure on your chest. Again, that can be nice for some people. It invites lots of blood flow when the pose is done, but it's not comfortable for everyone. So from this position, you could bring that top hand um, into the mat in front of you and kind of push into it so that you can lift the bottom shoulder and actually turn your chest to the floor, and your head would still be turned to the side. And in this case, you might remove one of those blankets or take a smaller pillow here. And then also in this case, I may actually turn the bottom thigh to kind of face down towards the mat. And I've got a bit of more openness to this top inner thigh. And that bottom hand goes wherever it wants to be. So yeah, you've got the option of being on your side or actually turned towards the floor with your chest to the mat. Yeah. So wherever you find comfort, wonderful. Perhaps close your eyes and notice if you're still comfortable and make any adjustments you need to to find comfort. We are very good at being uncomfortable, but it takes some practice to cultivate comfort in the body. And so once you've found comfort and perhaps some stillness, let's come back to that wave of breath. You might notice the expansion of the belly as we soften to receive the inhale. And that gentle inward movement as we release the exhale. And so we will continue to use the breath as an anchor to keep us here in the present moment. But we can also use the breath to help deepen our relaxation throughout the body. And so as we inhale, we feel that expansion in the body. With each exhale, let's soften and settle as if we're melting into the floor. Inhale, it's almost like you're kind of lifting back up to the surface. Exhale, you're melting or sinking. So let's stay with that for a little while. Inhale, feel that expansion rising. Exhale that melting or sinking. And 
if your mind wanders, that's okay. That's what minds do. But again, give your mind a job to do. Come back to the breath. Inhale, feel the expansion. Exhale, softening and sinking, melting into the floor. And soft, deep in breath. And softer, slower out breath. Let's offer five or six more breaths to this pose. Each exhale sinking a little further into the floor. Again, if you feel a deep need to stay right where you are, please feel free to do so for as long as you are comfortable. If you would like to move into this pose on the other side, let's move nice and slow. So if you've turned the chest to the floor, you might need to press into that top arm to help you get your shoulder back under you. And then we could Move that top leg down. We could roll onto our back. And then you could simply move your pillows to your other side. I'd like to keep my face towards the camera, so I'm actually going to come to seated and set this pose up on the other side. Now, you might have different needs on this side, so kind of be prepared for that, that you might need to set up the props in a different way. To remind you, we've got our pillows stacked at our side and we're rolling onto our side, perhaps on two blankets this time, or a thicker pillow. And we'll bring the leg up on the pillows and the bottom leg could be a bit bent or it could be straight. And we need to check on that bottom hip because it is, uh, it might need an extra blanket or support as well. This is a great place to be. You can adjust how high that knee is. Or we could to press that top hand into the mat and bring the chest down towards the mat. And in this case, I might need just one pillow. I'm kind of tucking that bottom arm behind me yeah, and turning my head to face the same direction as my knee. But I might turn my bottom thigh, the front of that bottom thigh onto the mat. I might turn the belly towards the floor. And this is only if this doesn't feel too stretchy and if that pressure on the chest is okay. Uh, once again, as you close your eyes, you might find that you aren't as comfortable as you thought and you might need to continue to make adjustments to increase your comfort. Once you are comfortable, allowing the body to become still, but knowing that you can move at any time. And beginning to tune into the breath. We'll use 
release that breath to deepen our state of relaxation throughout the whole body. And as we inhale, we'll notice that gentle expansion of the belly, maybe into the waist. As we slowly exhale, we're letting the whole body soften and settle earthward. Sometimes I imagine the inhale is sort of like rising to the surface. And the exhale is a gentle sinking down deep. The inhale, a gentle rise, as if you could rise to the surface of the water. And exhale, you're sinking below. So stay with it, allowing this to help you ride the wave of breath through the present moment, giving your mind a job to do to help you stay here. Inhale, expanding with the breath. Exhaling, slowly sinking, softening, settling. And letting this be enough to hold your attention and to nourish your whole self in this moment. If your mind wanders, that's okay. That's what minds do. For a few more moments, let's come back to the breath. Inhale and feel the expansion. Exhale and softening and settling. Letting go. Let's offer five or six more breaths to this pose. Soft, deep in breath. Softer, slower out breath. If you feel a deep need to stay right where you are, please feel free to do so for as long as you are comfortable. 
If you are ready to move, let's move nice and slow. You might press that top hand into the mat to help get you upright. In fact, we might make our way all the way up comfortably to seated. We can move those props out of the way for a moment and bring the legs out in front. Lean into the hands, take the feet wide, and please know these movements are completely optional. You're going to rock those knees from side to side. I'm going to walk my hands towards me a little bit and sit upright. The knees could be bent like so, or they could be out in front. You could also be sitting in a chair. I'm going to invite a little bit of side bending. So I'm going to lean into one hand, bring the other hand to the shoulder, and just reach. And maybe reach the arm up. Then we kind of keep it going. I'm going to lean into the other hand, hand to shoulder, lift. Maybe reach the arm up. Let's do that a couple more times either side. Just nice gentle movement, even before stretch. Just open this before stretch. And then soft, gentle movement. Great. That's just a little foreshadowing for the body to prepare for the next pose. The next pose has a little bit of a side bend involved. So, as you can see, I'm going to bring my pillows to sit right beside me here at my hip. And I've left enough space at the end of the, cushion, uh, the, end of the mat that I can place these two folded blankets like so. And I've got this little space between the pillow and the blankets. I'm going to lean into these pillows so I can bend my legs off to one side. And this is where sometimes we want a blanket or a pillow between the knees. And then I'm going to slowly lower myself the side of my body over the pillows and bring the shoulder into that crease and then rest my head on the pillow, on the blanket. So um, for me, this feels like too much, so I'm going to push into the pillows again, and I'm going to remove one of my pillows. I'm going to place it between my knees, but I think I might still want some more elevation, so I'm going to place one of these uh, blankets on top of the pillow, and I'm going to try again. I'm going to lower down, yeah. and now I might find, oh, I need more support under my head, so I'm going to fold this blanket just a little bit more. Yeah. So I've got that shoulder in that little valley. I've got some support under my head, between my knees and under my waist. So the idea is I've got a little bit of openness along the top side of my body. And then I can choose where I want that arm to be. Sometimes it feels nice to kind of just play with the shoulder joint a little bit by reaching that arm up to the ceiling and kind of just balancing here, even moving the arm around a little bit. Totally optional. And then and maybe it wants to rest along the body or even on the pillow in front. Maybe it wants to tuck behind. And kind of a deeper expression here might be to rest the arm overhead. But if we're already feeling kind of stretchy in this position, then we might want to come back to a different variation. Yeah. And from here, we can close our eyes. And again, notice if we're comfortable. You might find you need to adjust a little bit here, whether that's breast tissue or the position of the pillow or even more support under the hip or adjusting that top arm at any time. We might, over time, move into a place of stretch and decide that we'd like to mellow that. And eventually, you might become still.
And once you become still, you can once more tune in to the movement of your breath. And because we're side lying and we're opening up through the top side waist and rib cage, instead of feeling that rise at the belly, you might start to feel that rise and that openness into the side ribs and into the waist. So let's start to focus on that top side of the body and soften and invite the breath there. And a way that we can continue to use the breath to stay present and to deepen relaxation is we could add a simple count to the breath. The inhale could be a count of one, two. The exhale, one, two, three. Now you could adjust and count at a different rate or you could just add more numbers or more space between the numbers. Everyone's breath rate will be a little different. The idea is the exhale is a little longer than the inhale, and the counting helps us stay focused on the breath. Inhaling one, two. Exhale one, two, three. One, Two in, one, two, three, And if your mind wanders, that's okay. That's what minds do. But again, give your mind a job to do. Simply count the breath, inhaling for two, exhaling for three. Let's offer five or six more breaths to this pose.
If you feel a deep need to stay right where you are, please feel free to do so for as long as you are comfortable. If you would like to move into this pose on the other side, let's move nice and slow and check in with your fingers and toes. Perhaps find that top arm and press it into that little bit of pillow in front of you to help bring you upright. So it might be as simple as turning yourself around to come into this pose on the other side. I'm going to set it up on the other side of the mat so that I can keep my eyes turned towards the camera. But take your time and know that you might have different needs on this side. So I'm leaning in to the pillow in order to bring my legs to the other side. I am going to place a pillow between my legs and I've got a little blanket pillow combo here to lower the side of my body over. I'm gonna bring my shoulder into that little valley created between the pillow and the blanket. And I'm noticing if I'm comfortable here. Yeah. Adjusting because your comfort matters most even experimenting as need be. Sometimes I like to reach that arm up, just kind of move it around a bit, just to check in, and to help me figure out where that arm wants to be for the pose. So maybe down by my side, or in front, or behind, or even overhead. And you can change position at any time. And once you close your eyes, sometimes it helps you notice um, where you might need to increase comfort. And that could be warmth. That could be just a feeling of needing to be a little more supported from the ground up. Or it might be that you're in a place of stretch. You want to kind of step away from that to that place of openness before stretch. And as we become still, we can begin to tune in to the rhythm of the breath, noticing that in this position, we've opened up those top side wrists, side ribs, as well as the top side waist. And so we can invite the inhale to expand into those side ribs, that side waist. Allowing those intercostal muscles, those muscles between the rib cage, the ribs, um, to receive a little bit of movement here, a bit of massage, a little bit of expansion and release, which can really help in our breathing and our twisting and our general comfort and ease throughout our day. So let's tune into that breath, that wave of breath that keeps us here in the present moment. We'll invite that expansion into the side. And we'll soften with the exhale. Kind of letting the whole body settle onto that soft support beneath you. We can begin to add that gentle count to the breath to help focus the mind, to help us ride this breath through the present moment, extending the exhale to nourish the nervous system. Inhaling one, two, exhaling one, two, three. Inhale for two. Exhale for
If your mind begins to wander, that's okay. The important part is to notice and to come back to the count of the breath. Inhaling for two, exhaling for three. Let's offer five or six more breaths just like that. Inhaling for two, exhaling for three. If you feel a deep need to stay right where you are, please feel free to do so for as long as you are comfortable. If you feel ready to move on to the final pose, perhaps wiggle the fingers or toes. Maybe there's a yawn. You could guide that top arm to that little bit of pillow sticking out in front, press into it to slowly guide you upright. Yeah. Moving nice and slow. So our final pose will be just like the first one, unless you'd like to change it in some way. So you might want more or less support under your head. You might need a hat or a blanket. You might prefer your legs long and flat or even over a chair. So take your time. You know, you can always press pause. There might be a little bit of movement you need to do in between. Just remember, your comfort matters most of all in this practice. So as you settle in, close your eyes and ask yourself, are you comfortable? Is there any little bit of movement you could do to increase your comfort? Warmth, softness, Support. And as you become still, once more tune in to the rhythm of your own breath. Feel the rise and fall of your abdomen. And 
and simply allow. Allow a soft, deep in-breath. Allow the softer, slower out-breath. I'd like to take you on a journey to the beach. I'd like you to imagine the most beautiful beach you've ever been to or you've ever seen or that you can possibly imagine. And you're all alone on the beach. And the beach seems to expand in either direction as far as the eye can see. As you turn towards the water, the water, the ocean is vast with sparkling blue sun dapples, infinite ocean as far as the eyes can see. The sunlight dancing on the waves, all of the shades of blue. And then there's that perfect blue sky overhead, your favorite shade of blue. It is a perfect day. You can smell and almost taste the salty sea breeze. You can feel the perfect coolness of that breeze against your skin. You can hear the shorebirds playing in the wind and the waves off in the distance. Maybe you can even see them out there. You're just at the water's edge. Perhaps you're barefoot. You can feel your bare feet gently just sinking in slightly into this firm, wet sand at the water's edge. You begin to walk along the shoreline, even as the waves roll in and out now and then, kissing your feet with that salty, cool, fresh ocean water. You walk along the water's edge, still tasting or smelling the salty sea breeze cool against your skin, delighting in the play and the sounds of those seabirds, those shorebirds playing in the wind and waves. And the sun and dappled ocean water, all of the shades of blue. And the vast blueness of sky overhead. Walking along the shoreline, you come across a lovely beach lounge chair with a large umbrella. And you know it's for you. It's right at the water's edge, so you settle into it. Instantly comfortable. And perhaps you close your eyes. And you can still Hear the shorebirds playing. 
You can still smell the salty sea breeze. You can feel it against your skin. And now you can start to hear the waves. You can hear the waves rolling to shore. And roll back out. As you rest here, you let the rhythm of the waves gently woo you into a relaxed calm. Feeling those waves rolling. And roll out. And soon enough, you notice that your breath has synchronized with the waves. As each wave rolls in, so does your in-breath. As each wave rolls out, so does your out breath. Wave rolls in, inhale. Wave rolls out, exhale. It's as if you have become the shoreline. And with each wave that rolls in, you feel it rolling up your body. With each wave that rolls out, you feel it roll back down your body. Each inhale, each wave that rolls off your body brings healing, brings peace. Each exhale, each wave that rolls down your body helps you let go of anything that's ready to go, leaving only calm. You're breathing in, healing all the way up the body. You're breathing out, calm, letting go. Let's rest here a while. Become the beach. Receive that healing wave up the body. Let go as that wave rolls back down, leaving only calm.
if your mind has wandered, that's okay. Perhaps come back to the beach for a little while longer, feeling that healing wave roll up the body with the inhale. Exhaling, the wave rolls back down the body, letting go. Feel free to stay at the beach for as long as you are comfortable. If you would like to bring a hand to the belly and a hand to the chest, feel free. And perhaps offer yourself some sweetness, a kind word, a prayer, an affirmation just for you. And this is where I will leave you. When you are ready to move, just move slowly. Start with some movement of fingers and toes. Maybe turn your head, maybe stretch or yawn. And slowly roll to your side and then upright. But again, stay here for as long as you're comfortable. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you have any questions or concerns, always feel free to reach out to us at the Everyday Counts program. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now.